Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. We're winding down a soggy weekend across the tri-state, and the rain isn't done yet. Once we get it out of here early tomorrow, though, then even colder air is going to settle in through the first half of the work week. And we now have a freeze watch up for the whole tri-state for tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. And it is looking more and more like a hard freeze and a widespread frost is likely for all of us uh, tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. And really, we'll have that again Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. But if we get that hard freeze tomorrow night, we won't have another freeze watch or freeze warning uh, for Tuesday night. And this will likely uh, go over to a freeze warning uh, at some point tomorrow. So again, widespread frost, hard freeze likely uh, for Monday night, Tuesday night, and probably still well below freezing by a few degrees Wednesday night too, but lows are going to be in the middle 20s it looks like uh, for Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. And then really our focus over the next couple of days is going to be on our trick or treating for Tuesday evening on Halloween because it is going to be a cold day on Tuesday. We will not get out of the 40s and it looks like the wind is going to pick up quite a bit for the afternoon and through the evening hours. So as the sun goes down and those temperatures drop from the 40s into the 30s, it looks like wind chills will be dipping into the 20s uh, during our trick or treating hours uh, on Tuesday evening. So keep that in mind. Make sure the kids are bundled up and uh, dressed warm or dressed in layers uh, to go out trick or treating this year. Here's the rain. It is still falling across the entire tri state and it's uh, a light to moderate rain and we're picking up some pretty hefty amounts and some pretty uh, hefty areas of rain, especially along and south of the Ohio River. Now that's where you see some of those darker shades of green and certainly those yellow radar returns and all of this continues to move from west to east across the tri-state. Now we've got some of those uh, moderate to heavy pockets up into the Evansville Henderson metro area pushing over into a uh, Warwick and then Spencer counties and then we've got a large area of some moderate to heavy rain through much of Union County into Webster County that will move across Henderson County, McLean County, and then back into uh, Davis County in the city of Owensboro, picking up those uh, rain rates again. So it is wet out there. That's the view right now in downtown Owensboro from our Bill Morgan Tower Cam, and it's the same picture in downtown Evansville from our Superior Ag Tower Camera. It's the same picture across the entire tri-state. 50 degrees right now. Wind right now at 6 miles per hour, but it is going to get breezier as the night goes on and stay that way for tomorrow. We're around 50, but now some 40s coming in from the west. So we're all going to fall down to about 40 by tomorrow morning. Here's the rain. It continues to move from west to east across the tri-state. Future Tracker keeps it going for most of the night. By 6 a.m., we're kind of on the back edge as it starts to diminish. Some models a little slower than that, though. So I think some rain first thing in the morning, and then that'll move out by 9, 10 a.m. Then we'll see gradual clearing, especially for the afternoon from west to east. Clear tomorrow night, but frost and freeze as we head into our Halloween morning. We're dry for trick-or-treating, but again, it is going to be cold and windy. So chilly and breezy overnight. Periods of rain continue. Then that ends early tomorrow morning. Gradual clearing. Breezy and colder. Just mid 40s for highs. And then we go down to 26 for our first hard freeze of the season with frost. And 46 the high on Halloween. Mid 40s still on Wednesday. Then we bounce back. Upper 50s Thursday. And hopefully back above 60 for Friday and the weekend. Hannah. All right, thank you, Stacy. Still to come, missed warning signs about the suspect in the main.